Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to this video. So, basically, this is a comeback video for the last video of which I talked about Cody. And um, some people were like, oh, these are not his channels. Well, I am fully convinced, thoroughly convinced that these are his channels, okay? Now, if you let me talk about this for a minute, guys, um, then I can explain myself here. So... This is his Instagram or whatever. Everyone follows his Instagram, right? And, you know, he is crushing it with YouTube, right? Uh, multiple entertainment niche type channels and different uh, sub niches inside entertainment, like celebrity. We'll go over the different channels here that he's in. And there are reasons I'm 100% convinced that these are his channels. Um, one of the main reasons is because when I went through his course, um, basically I saw the URL he didn't blur of one of his channels and his, um, channel that I checked out was this one right here called film focus. Now film focus links to other channels, which I'm assuming it's either his channels or some partnership channels. Okay. Um, or friends or whatever, or people who pay him to be there. Okay. So it might not be his, obviously we know that it might not, or it might be his right the point is we now have access to see his top videos and re and reverse engineer what's working for our homie here cody so basically when you look at any channel and you sort by the most popular you're able to see what the heck has worked for them okay um, and you notice patterns you pick up on those patterns and you replicate the success so what are some big keys to YouTube? Click the rate, watch time, and the topic you're in. In fact, that's his formula in the course, okay? I talked about it in my course as well, that you gotta have high click the rate, over 15% is what he says, okay, you should shoot for. And then you gotta have high watch time minutes watched, okay? So that should be around five minutes, he says. Over five minutes is really good. I say over six minutes is insanely good. Obviously, the higher the better, okay? But then there's re audience retention percentage plus minutes watched. So you can't just upload a one minute video or like a four minute video and expect a ton of views unless you have a music video that they keep coming back to and watching again and again, which increases the minutes watched, right? Which is absolutely fantastic. And that's why music videos and stuff like that that has short minutes actually do well. And also kids channels. If you think about it, kids channels, they do get high, high click to rate due to its kids. And then they get high, high watch time. <laughs> it's crazy due to the fact that kids just watch. And then the other thing is that they don't even allow engagement of the comment section, really. Okay. Uh, in fact, the engagement rates are almost zero to none. Kids don't know how to uh, do comments very well, right? They don't know how to click the button or they don't notice it. So the point is engagement isn't as important as you think. I go into the psychology of why it is powerful. So smash that like button. Um, do that, please, because of the fact that um, I'm making a video for you, giving my time for you here. Um, but straight up, I'm going to go over his different channels here, as you can see at the top here of the screen. And uh, I'm going to explain why I believe these are his channels. Very, very powerful. Uh, here's a channel you can check out. I don't know if he owns this channel. He probably does. It's called YT Money. Uh, let's see where, where it links to. It links to... We can just open it up and check where it links to. Yeah, so he owns it most likely. Um, and then here, go subscribe to it. It's Cody White, 97 subscribers. And yeah, I can't wait till he posts some videos. Anyway, Cody, I know you're watching this, bro. And um, you're probably laughing if these are not yours or you're mad if they are. And the reason I'm showing them is just because people want to know what channels you have. And I mean, at the end of the day, if they click on your ads on your videos, you are going to make money and uh, it's all fine at the end of the day, right? So... Let's dive in. Okay, so here we go. We got uh, The Gamer. The Gamer right here is our homie, the homie channel. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so straight up, PS4, Xbox 2, that is a pretty dope video. Basically, it was a trend, most likely, okay? So you can notice the patterns here. Um, the length of the videos are around 10 minutes or more. And the reason why that's good is because if you get people to watch half the video, that's five minutes, right? So that's really good. And then all you need at that point is high click the rate. Okay. And the higher, the, the better on everything. Okay. The higher, the better on everything. Okay. So if you make a, 
Here's something cool I should show you guys. Um, this is something very, very interesting. Honey. Now, when you sort right here, you can see that you can sort by short, so below four minutes, or long, which is above 20, okay? Music videos and shorter content is four minutes, okay? And uh, they're usually watched all the way through, but the only time they can really, really go viral is if they get shared a lot, that's a good metric, or if they have a high, high subscriber to view rate ratio, or, or and if they get um, a lot of rewatches. So people will come back and rewatch it, rewatch it, rewatch it, okay? So that's huge, huge, huge. And then you have um, over 20 minute videos. So the sweep spot is in between 10 and 20, but you just gotta look at how they sort it, which is over 20 minute videos, you know, YouTube does favor longer videos. They, I was a business, want people on the platform longer. Um, a very interesting metric as well. When you go into YouTube studio, you'll see it says literally how impressions lead to watch time. So uh, it has a metric. So just by looking at this video right here, the impression of it, um, it has a certain metric of the watch time metric of what it is, okay? So very, very um, interesting and important to understand that. So when you have a longer video plus a high click-through rate, you have a higher, listen to this, you have a higher impression watch time, okay? Average impression watch time, which is really, it's the ultimate um, metric because there's a funnel that shows uh, the different metrics. So it starts at click-through rate, then impression or whatever. So impressions, click-through rate, um, shows watch time, and then uh, impressions watch time type metric at the very bottom, which is the ultimate thing they're looking for. Um, because if they're gonna show your video, they want to make sure people stay on the platform longer. It's really, really weird. It's a really powerful metric. Uh, they're geniuses at YouTube who program, and it's just really powerful. So he owns the gamer most likely. Uh, he doesn't really create the content. I'm sure he did on whatever channel he started with. Uh, he created his own content. But he outsources most likely to other homies to do it overseas and stuff like that. He probably he's, says he has a whole team that does it for him, okay? So understand that uh screen rant a lot of people said screen rant uh he doesn't own now at the end of the day it's possible he might not it's possible he's just partnered with someone linking to the, their stuff but it's also possible he does own it and uh he doesn't make the content obviously but look at the um patterns here once again so these this is like when this was four years ago okay so this is when the metrics were different and youtube had a different algorithm okay so understand that so right here, I guess more so back then, they were basically rewarding session starts. So people actually sending traffic to the YouTube platform to a video was more powerful um, to YouTube. And so they promote you even more if you did that. And then they also liked high click-through rate. Really in the beginning, they liked high click-through rate the most. Then they moved to more watch time. Then they moved to different things. And they also have air, um, times in their algorithm where they favor other things over other things. So like live streams or maybe VR or 4K video, stuff like that. Okay, so just understand how powerful that is to be on the cutting edge. Now, if we look at a new video, maybe within this year, we can look at if it's over 10 minutes and see if that's a pattern. So here we got nine months ago, 15 minute video. See, see what I'm saying, baby? um 11 minutes so yeah you know the length of the video matters in, in an entertainment niche like this where they're not going to watch a video more than once um like kind of infor informative type videos they should be over 10 minutes now videos that are entertaining like a vlog or uh, music it should be under four minutes okay so very powerful now you understand that okay uh let's move on the wacky so the wacky once again I'm going to repeat, like, I don't know if he owns it for sure. I didn't talk to him, but I mean, they're all linking to each other. So it's either they're partnered with each other or they're sharing revenue with each other or he owns them all. So that is the truth. Like we, we don't know him personally. He hasn't contacted me or any of you, most likely probably a couple of you who are watching this probably know him personally, Cody. And um, yeah. So if we look here five years ago, once again, we know that the algorithm was that way. This one was 11 minutes long and it back then got 16 million. This one longer, a little shorter, longer. Um, things that get views, once again, are extreme content, trending content, or 
sexual content. So right here, a little like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so just understand that those are the things YouTube looks for. I mean, for example, that, so, or that. Like, though, that's what I mean. Like, there's the pattern, then there's the trends. So, mysterious photo, this is extreme or somewhat mysterious. People do, like, it's curiosity bias right there, okay? This right here is somewhat high VRIN score. I talked about that in my course. It's a super powerful metric um, little framework thing. It's crazy. I talk about it a lot inside my course because it's like the ultimate key. But anyway, it's really rare that a team is making a lot of money, like millionaire teens, okay? So that's why that's um, done well, most likely, okay? Now, the video I did itself can impact the video's performance because it's topic plus watch time and just the topic itself can influence the watch time and the click-through rate and all of it. So Mr. Beast, if you know who he is, I bet I'm linking to him right now because, you know, we should look at what he does. Um, Mr. Beast. So he understands and he talks about a lot when he gives advice. He says the video idea is the key. Um, people are like, yeah, dude, the video idea is all it takes. So he did, uh, I put 100 million Orbeez in my friend's backyard and that got 82 million or 92 million views. That's a lot of views, okay? Um, he just gets it, he understands it. And so what, what he does is comes up with a big video idea, which can influence the click, the rate, the watch time, and the topic can influence the amount of people that see it. So YouTube separates people in the buckets. First, there's the buckets of, of basically the certain niche, whatever you're in. And then there's also the bucket of the subscribers you currently have. And so they push it to the subscribers first and just a couple people inside the topic of the video itself to see if it does well. Then they push it to more people inside that topic and that topic can be relatively big depending on what it is. And then it pushes it to somewhat relevant, somewhat relevant, somewhat relevant. It keeps going until the metrics die down, but it knows the certain audience buckets that did well and it keeps it going for that forever basically. If it's a good metric video, it'll last forever. That is the key, YouTube rewards videos with good, good metrics, okay, obviously. Next here, we're gonna go through real quick. Okay, um, the Sportster, that is a niche that does really well. This is a niche that does really well. Niche, 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 okay? This one right here probably gets really, really good CPM rates of how much would they make per thousand views because it's in like the wealth niche, okay? My CPMs are actually extremely high, by the way. It's like over like $30 or $40 per 1,000 uh, views. So it's pretty good. Um, once again, it's a smaller niche. But anyway, um, the hub. So probably owns this. We're not sure. Let's keep going. The richest people don't think he owns this. Like, I kind of don't fully believe he owns this one, like at all. Yeah, I'd actually say I'm pretty certain he doesn't. He might be partnered with the people here. Probably knows them. Um, but anyway. He's probably, yeah, partners in some way with them. Um, the, this is a huge, 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 huge thing here. Uh, they make so much content. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't own this, okay? It's insane how much content they make. Um, I was talking to some people who said, yeah, Cody doesn't own it due to the fact that it's like a certain company that does, and they like create tons of content for multiple channels or whatever he said or something like that. And I was like, okay, um, you're probably right. Who knows? But I believe Cody owns this one. I really do. Um, I believe Cody owns Mr. Beast's channel. I um, believe... I'm just kidding about that. Uh, the musical meaning. Now, what's the musical meaning? He probably owns this one right here for sure, because look, it has less subscribers. It's more possible he does. Um, yeah, there's a possibility he does own this one. But you never know. At the end of the day, I mean, you could just look at the success that happened here. So... This video topic, eight most um, expensive celebrity transformations, 4.6 million views. I mean, that's a possibility. I'm 100% convinced he owns film focus, though. I mean, just think about it. Literally, um, it was in his course. He was showing his everything, and I saw the link. I went to it. This this one, I'm guaranteeing that he owns this one, um, and he probably owns a couple of the ones that it's linked to. Okay? So that we can guarantee we know. Okay, guys? if that's important to you to know about. Anyway, I have Mr. Beast up here as an example, by the way. That's why I had him. Um, 
the trendy is possibility you know, this one. So a good niche is talking about celebrities, okay? The big keyword, it's of celebrities. Um, at the end of the day, the best niches are entertainment niches. That's what my second channel is. I get millions of views per month and I promote sweepstake offers and affiliate offers in the mainstream niches like health, wealth, and love, okay? But mainly sweepstake offers on Max Bounty, okay? And then, you know, I monetize with AdSense, make a couple thousand per month with that. Remember, the CPMs are a little smaller in their entertainment niches, but you can make more money if you just link to affiliate offers down below and you know how to convince people to convert. It is insane, okay? How much people, like every second, literally, I, I just refresh, refresh, refresh. Every second, people are converting on my offers, okay, in Max Bounty. It's insane, okay? And that's the power of YouTube, okay? You can link in the description. Uh, you can have videos that have possibility, well, they last forever. And if possibility to go viral, okay? And so there you go. So what I was gonna say is if you go on trend.google.com, you can see what are the year in search keywords, like the biggest keywords. You can see what the biggest celebrities were. For example, for this niche. Okay, next thing is the things. Okay, so what's the things? Something to do with cartoons and celebrities or famous movies, stuff like that. And they come up with unique ideas. So you see here, this is uh, 10 Disney pr princesses reimagined, and then they did it again. By the way, double lean down on videos that did well, you might as well just do again, okay? It's it's proven to work and be liked, and so they just do it again and again. Look, 10 Disney characters, shocking. Like, they did it multiple times, somewhat relevant every time. So it's like, it works. And so they got millions of views every time, and they're like, I'm going to... I'm going to repeat this. It works. Okay. Double down on, on what works. That's a powerful concept of business and marketing and everything. The binger most likely he owns this one as well. Um, by the way, what I was going to say is like, look at um, what they say inside videos. Look at how they do the visual. So is it every couple seconds that they're changing what is being shown? Most likely. Um, how's the person talking? Who is talking? Is it male or female? Um, it's all big, big key, okay, um, what's being shown. And then once again, the topic is very, very important. Behind the screen. He probably owns this one. I mean, it has 47,000 followers. Um, you know, a channel like this with just 47,000 followers in this niche right here of movies, I mean, this is Marvel niche. It's probably going down in popularity of views. But at its height, it was probably getting, you know, 100,000 or more views every single day. Okay, you can look at the, if you have um, vidIQ, you can look at the metrics of how much they get per per day view count and how much they make per day, which is very cool. You can also go on social blade and see Comeback Central, you know, Pawn Stars. Um, it's a big niche, surprisingly. Also gaming, obviously, is a big niche. But anyway, this person right here has a video that got 5.3 billion and it was in the Pawn Stars niche. I mean, it's a very successful TV show. Uh, any successful TV show for example, and even on Netflix, new TV shows, you can capitalize on the popularity of it. So when a new show is launched on Netflix, you can leverage that um, and make different video concepts around it. So you could do a review about it. You can do um, things you didn't notice about it or uh, you missed this about it or what's going to happen next type video concepts, guys, okay? so that can work. Next is Viral Vision. So Viral Vision is another channel... 2.9 million views. This one right here, King Trending got 19 million views. That's pretty good, right? Um, very good, very good. And this is a rapper niche, okay? So rapper niches uh, do well. And once again, just literally whatever niche you wanna get into, model success, look at what others are doing and replicate all of it. Even stuff you think outside the box of what to replicate, like literally you have to think um, outside the box so what to replicate like I'm talking like tonality I'm talking visual I'm talking thumbnail types I'm talking what's being shown I'm talking what's being shown in video I'm talking video length I'm talking tags I'm talking description everything you should model okay every aspect of it okay and then do it better because YouTube compares video ideas and topics inside one topic bucket to others inside that topic bucket and it compares their metrics to each other and keeps promoting the best one or a new best one. Okay, so understand that. Like the, that's a huge, huge concept you should understand. It's super crazy. Um, and then daydreams, most likely he does on this as well. This pawn stars here, 
or some student of his does. Who freaking knows, bro? Like, literally, um, all we know is that for sure, for sure, he owns this one because this is the one he showed. Unless it was a friend's channel. Um, unless it was a friend's channel. Um, but it's most likely his. So, anyway. And he's linking to all these. Our favorite creators. They're probably paying to be there. Or he owns them. Like, literally, I believe he owns them. He's got 20 YouTube channels, he says. So, some are small. Some are big. Um, you know, 80-20 rule. Probably 20% of them are making 80% of the money. So, he's doubling down on that. Okay? 80-20 rule. Think about it. Um, anywho... Cody, don't kill me, bro. I mean, these are most likely your channels, but uh, you probably don't care that um, <laughs> I'm doing this. You're probably laughing at it. And anyway, I'm just doing this just because. And anyway, check out more videos. I do have a part one to this video where I talk about this. Uh, people seem to like it, so I just decided to make another one. Um, that's how it works. That's I talked about a lot of cool secrets here. If you want to... Get Matt Parr's course down below, which is better than Cody's course. You can get that, and if you get it through my link, I will give you my course for free, um, my YouTube course. You just have to email me that you bought, or you can just get my YouTube course, which is extremely, extremely powerful. It's a combination of all their courses. I learn from them. I learn from myself and everything and what I've had success with, and I talk about it. Okay, so if you want that, then uh, I'll see you in the zone, and uh, check out more videos. Peace out.